morning. It is DJ Payne One, the Acid King. I'm like uh, Timothy Leary. That's not funny. Anyway, uh, I'm making this video on my little webcam to respond to a whole host of emails and MySpace messages and uh, comments that I've been receiving uh, from people who would like to to know better how to record uh, from their external devices into Acid. So if you've watched the first video, it's called Acid Making the Beat uh, Part 1. I explain a little about recording, recording levels, um, the record function in the program Acid. So I'm not going to get into that. What uh, this video is going to explain is how to connect these devices to your stock sound card. Now I'm assuming that if you have a pretty high-end sound card with a breakout box and a MIDI in, you probably don't need help. So this video is directed to those with stock sound cards, and I'll explain what I mean uh, in one second. But keep checking out the channel for more videos. Uh, I have quite a few shortly, some music videos, more instructional videos, uh, some videos with free loop and sample giveaways. But let's talk about recording into a stock sound card. Now what I mean by stock sound card is the sound card that came with your computer. Um, if you have a stock sound card, you may want to, at some point, upgrade to a nicer sound card or at least a USB sound card or something that ha that's capable of recording at 24-bit. If you've ever looked at your PC's sound card, um, you'll have noticed that the size of the uh, inputs are the same. And uh, I'll give you a, a, a look at this laptop sound card. You'll notice that these small inputs um, are what we call 8 inch lugs. Uh, so that means whatever you're plugging into your computer, one side of the cable has to be 1 8 inch. Now let me show you what I mean. Let's say you have a pretty nice keyboard, a pretty high end keyboard, um, the Triton, the Motif the Roland, the Oasis, or maybe the ASR-10, which I have right here, the thing's huge. Running out of the ASR-10, you have these quarter-inch plugs. Now, as you know, your PC cannot take quarter-inch plugs. They're much too big for its sound card. So what you end up needing is a nice little cable cable like this. On one end of this cable it has two balanced quarter inches. You plug these two into your keyboard or into your rack module like this ME1 here. You'll notice that it too has quarter inch outputs. On the other side of the cable you have, of course, an eighth inch plug. Now this 8-inch plug can plug right into your PC's sound card. Usually in the microphone in, or the analog in, or the line in, depending on the sound card you have, uh, it may be listed differently, but the microphone in is easy to find. It's usually a pink color and it usually has a little picture of the microphone right by it. What else is there? Let's say you have a guitar amp like this, ridiculously low cost. Um, microcube. Now the microcube is recording mono signals from a guitar. So what you end up needing for that is a single plug. You'll notice that the output says record out slash phones. That's also a quarter inch cable. So since we only need one quarter inch cable because it's mono, this is what our cable is going to look like. Well, this is the one that I have. You may be able to get a quarter inch to eighth inch, but what I end up having to do is getting one of these little adapters that fits right over the quarter inch and uh, converts it to an eighth inch. And that way you can plug this into your computer. Um, let's talk about DJ mixers. <clears throat> so you have a DJ mixer. Maybe your DJ mixer has um, XLR outs. But every DJ mixer I've ever seen has had RCA outs, and that's that uh, red and white, left and right plug. 
Now these cables I think are the easiest to come by. They require absolutely no converting or adapting. Where the heck is it? It's simple. On one side you have the two RCA channels and on the other side you have the 8 inch plug that you can plug directly into your computer sound card. Um, let's try another example. Let's say you have a microphone preamp because you're recording vocals or something into your computer. Um, here's one of those cheapo preamps. Works fairly well. The output is XLR. XLR is the highest quality cable you can buy. But if you have a stock sound card, you're not going to be able to support XLR plugs. So what you end up having to do is getting a XLR cable with a nice little gold quarter inch uh, plug on the opposite side. And then like I just showed you for the guitar cable, you just have to adapt from quarter inch to eighth inch. So what's really important, first of all, is knowing that on one side of your cable you have to have an eighth inch plug. Another important thing to know is what kind of plugs your various uh, pieces of hardware have. So when you go to Radio Shack, you're not like, uh, I need a big plug. Because they're going to look at you like you're crazy. The good news is that these cables are fairly cheap. Um, of course, they cost more if they're longer in length. But you don't probably need a 10 foot, uh, you know, quarter inch. Maybe you do, I don't know. So now that you've figured out how to plug your device into your computer, then it's important to know how to record it into ACID. Um, and that's explained in the ACID Making the Beat Part 1 video. Uh, also, some people may experience latency problems. That means if you're playing on your keyboard and recording it into ACID and you notice that something's not right, something's offbeat, the timing isn't correct, then you may have to adjust your settings a bit. Um, you can do so in the following window. Alright, thank you for watching another video. Thank you for subscribing and rating my videos highly. And uh, keep, keep the questions coming. Um, I'm happy to answer any question you may have. Um, I guess that's it. Stay tuned. Hot new pair, real white, white leather. Hot new pair, real brand new pistol with a 